which is probably a good idea for me. Man, this smells so good. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So I'm filming my Sephora VIB sales, spring savings event, whatever you want to call it, haul. I placed an order online. I also went into three different stores and I don't think I'm done shopping. Today is the 19th. So the store has been happening, the sales been happening for five days and I keep watching all these recommendations videos and my cart keeps changing. So yeah, I still have some stuff in my cart. I'm not done yet. Before we get into this video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I do lots of hauls. We know this already. I do hair, nails, makeup, and fitness. So pretty much everything related to beauty. If that's something you're into, you're gonna love this channel. I won't keep you waiting. If you wanna see what I've picked up so far during the spring savings event by Sephora, then stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so before we get into this video, a lot of times y'all ask me what I'm wearing on my lips. Today, I have on my Charlotte Tilbury, where is she at? Pillow Talk Intense number three as my liner. For my lips, I had on something else first, and then I added something on top of it. Oh, Huda Beauty, oh, which one was it? Hold on one second, I just picked it up. Did I bring it back down here? Yes, I did. <laughs> It's in one of my little bags. Hold on. It is the Huda Beauty Bossy Browns Power Bullet Cream Glow in Boss Chick. And then I went over that with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Praline and then topped it off with the Makeup by Mario Pro Volume Lip Gloss in the shade Golden Nude. So it's a lot, but the first videos I filmed, I'm batch filming today, I used the Huda Beauty with no gloss yeah huda beauty with no gloss and then i just wanted to touch it up and now we have a little bit of a nighter nude so that's what i have on my lips so everything if i went and went to the store i would have got a big bag but we got this big old box and my bags are in the box so i am gonna go through and try not to drop anything on the floor and we're just gonna go i'm not doing this in any particular order Hopefully this video will not be too long. So I brought some stuff upstairs and that's why there's so much in this little bag because I brought all this upstairs and some of it is on my face right now. First thing I picked up, this was not something I was checking for, but I like picking up value sets. And this is the Tower 28. It's a mauve moment lip gloss and cream blush. This is two full size products. It was $27, and of course you get I get the 20% off because I am rouge. So this is in, uh, which one is which? So one is called Sesame, and one is called Office Hours. So this is the Beach Please Blush in Office Hours. Y'all, these things gonna make me break my nails. So this is what she looks like, super, super cute. I don't have this one on today. Oh, that's lighter than I thought. I feel like that's not even showing. But I think it's going to be cute. I think it's going to be good for like a nude flush. And then this is the gloss, which is supposed to be the same color. So I just thought it was a cute set. And I have not tried this on yet. But I do love the Tower 28 blushes and the glosses. I forgot the name of the blush I have, but it's one of the kind of terracotta shades. And then I have Cashew is one of the lip glosses, I think. I have that one upstairs. So I just added two more, one more of each to my collection. Next, I picked up the Lady Gaga House Labs Color Fuse Blush. Listen, I was so worried about stuff selling out. I used points to get this before the sale. And then I was up until midnight, the night of the sale, when the sale started so that I could hurry up and get all the stuff that was in my cart. And then I went to the store the day of the sale. 
I feel like stuff didn't sell out as fast as it did last year. And I can't say that I'm mad about it, but I definitely lost some sleep trying to keep up and make sure I had everything I wanted in my cart the first go round. So this is Watermelon Bliss. This was definitely on my list. Love the packaging. I did put a little bit of this on today. I have like two lushes on. I think just two. But this is one of them and this color is so, so pretty. I could not help myself. Everybody's been talking about these blushes. And for me, I feel like this is the kind of pink that I want to wear. I'm not doing that Dior pink. I swatched it in the store. I don't understand. Some people have made it work and listen, kudos to you, but I'm not doing it. I'm just not. Maybe if I could find like a drugstore color that kind of looks like that and I'll try it, but just swatching it in on my hand in the store i don't get it and i'm not doing it so i got this and she's gorgeous next i picked up oh i could have put this on i got this because it was on sale and then you get the 20 percent off this is the pat mcgrath labs lip fetish divinal lip shine i got this one in nude venus and i just picked this up because i don't have any of these i have some of her lip products but i have glosses i have lipsticks and liquid lipsticks and no lip shines and i just thought the packaging on this was cute y'all know how pat does her packaging always gorgeous and this is a i don't even know if this is going to show but it's just a pretty little yeah like you can barely see that i could have put that on my lips today just a nice little shine and i thought this would be really good whenever i just wear like a lighter brown lip liner and then I want a little flush of color but more shine I think this would be perfect for that so she's gonna go I'm probably gonna show her in a video but she's going in my purse this was another product that I had to pick up immediately this one was in my cart and 12 o'clock midnight I was jumping on it this is the Danessa Myricks yummy skin blurring balm powder flushed that's a lot I picked mine up in the shade golden hour this I was trying to decide between this one and prima donna and I wanted to get both but I figured I'm trying to be responsible prima donna is kind of this shade already so I was like you don't need two blushes that color so get golden hour because that's one of the ones that you really liked as you can see I have used her I have this on my cheeks today so so pigmented and so so pretty like I did a quick little look upstairs in the bathroom because I didn't feel like filming makeup today. And this look came out and I was like, dang, I should have filmed this because I think I look cute. But this is the blush I have on. And then I also have this blush on. So I don't know which one I like better. I was just excited to have new stuff to play in. Next, I picked up two of the NARS Soft Matte Advanced Perfecting Powders. Now, I picked up two of these because I was not sure which color I wanted to get. I picked up Seafront and Offshore, and I'm going to show you the differences. If you haven't been in store to see these yourself, I do not know which shade is better for me. I used both today, but I used them basically to set my foundation. I used Offshore, wait, let me look at the colors first because I don't remember. I used the lighter one first because the lighter one, yes, Offshore, this is supposed to be the shade that they recommend for my skin tone. And I put a little bit of it on and I don't really, I didn't put a lot. I like used a big fluffy brush and just kind of brushed it on my face and I was just like, eh, I don't know if this really did anything. And the reason I was having trouble deciding between them, this is Seafront, is because I feel like this looks like when my foundations are too light, like right now, I could brush this over it and deepen it up a little bit. I'm probably, I don't want to keep two of the same products. And Lawless also has one that I was thinking about trying. I may order that one and then I'll just have one of each. Um, Lawless has a powder very similar and I haven't tried a lot of their stuff. So I'm probably going to bring one of these back and then get the Lawless one. I don't know. I know I don't need to keep them both. I do know that. So I have a decision to make and I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I also picked up the Rare Beauty Positive Light Silky Touch Highlighter. 
I picked this up in the shade Flaunt. I have the liquid highlighter in the shade Flaunt as well. I thought about getting a different shade, but Flaunt is what I have on today. And it was, I put it on and it was more blinding at first, but then I just kept working it into the skin and I have it on the bridge of my nose. And I just feel like I look so summer ready and glowy. My skin looks healthy. And so it was good to see that I could shear this out if I wanted to so it wasn't so blinding. But if you want to take it there, you can definitely take it there. Like this is just so, so, so pretty. And this shade is just perfect. But as you work it in, it just looks like you're glowing and it's gorgeous another product I picked up by rare beauty is their warm wishes stick bronzer oh okay I was reading the side that was apparently in a different language warm wishes effortless bronzer stick this is one of the newer shades so this is on the horizon I remember looking at these when they first came out and I didn't like any of the shades and so then when I was in store and I saw this shade I was like oh now okay I see at first, I thought this was going to be too dark. I love the packaging on this. This is super cute. And this shade is way better than I thought it was going to be. This is what it looks like. I do have this on today. But when I tell you this blends out so easy, I love the undertone of it. It's not too warm and it's not too gray. Like it's a really good, it says it's a bronzer, but I use this to contour and I thought it was perfect. Like, them cheeks is chiseled and everything just looks smooth and it blended out really well, but then I could build it up a little more if I wanted to. So I just love the ease of it. I said I was gonna pick this up, so of course it's in my bag. This is the LYS Cream Bronzer Stick. So I wanted to show these back to back to show you what they look like if you weren't sure which one you wanted to get. This one's a lot darker and I should have known better because I have the regular bronzer in the shade strength and it's dark. And so it makes sense that this would be dark too. But I also have this on today. I put a little bit of this too. And this blended out just as well as the Rare Beauty. So I am going to keep both. I'm going to put this one right here so you can see the difference. Like look how dark that is. And that is what I have on and it doesn't look crazy because I was able to put just a little bit and then blend it out and I'm gonna keep showing y'all this profile because <laughs> I just feel like this is probably the best I've ever been able to contour bronze blush and highlight and just have everything look like this but also still just blended like Okay, let me stop. So anyway, I picked this up. I will have to be light-handed with it, but I absolutely love the formula already. Another bronzer, because I lost my mind. Summer's coming, right? Um, this is the Melt Ultra Matte Bronzer. I ain't gonna lie. I picked this up. I love Melt Cream Blushes. I picked this up because it was on sale and then the extra 20% off. And I, didn't even, I don't think I knew that they had bronzers. Or maybe I saw it, but I just was like, I don't need any more. But then it's on sale, on sale, so I need it. We all know how that goes. This is the Ultra Matte Bronzer in the shade Long Beach. This is the darkest one that they have. Love the packaging on this. And this is what it looks like. This is a very warm, reddish shade. I have this on too. I literally was like, how much stuff can I put on my face today to show for this video so I can kind of give like a first impressions as well. But I use this to blend everything together between the dark contour and the blush. So I don't know, like this whole combo today just, this got me feeling some type of way and I absolutely love it. Love the formula of this. Everything just, we had a good makeup day today. That's all I am gonna say. I picked up one of the Sephora eyeliners. This is their liquid eyeliner. It has a brush tip. It's waterproof and I picked up the brown one. I have so many black liners and I'm always on the hunt for a brown liner that is dark but still looks brown. And this is actually pretty good. 
I put this on today. You probably can't even see my wing with this with these lashes, but I put this on today and she is definitely dark enough for a brown. Like I see brown, but it's not going to get lost and that is something that I was looking for. So, I'm really happy I found this cuz I said in my Sephora collection video that I didn't have a liner, so I picked this up but I went with brown instead of black because I felt like I would get more use out of it compared to the other liners that I love that are already black. So this is a good liner, especially if you love a brush tip. In this next bag, I think there was more stuff in here, but I mixed it all up. I picked up the Rare Beauty Lip Liner, Kind Words Crayon. Quit reading the French side. Kind Words Matte Lip Liner in the shade Wise. I'm bringing this back and exchanging it because I already have this. I thought I had the darker one and so I was picking this one up because I like the shade of this and I love that these are retractable and then I realized when I got home and I looked through my collection that I have this already. So she's going to go back, not going to swatch her, but it is a very pretty, it's a brown, but it's not like a super dark brown like my Charlotte Tilbury or my Huda. So I feel like on days when I just want to do a little bit of lining on the outer part of my lips that is dark to even that out and put gloss, that is a good shade. This is another product that is also going back and I'm not going to open. This is the Sephora Matte Perfection Blush Duo in Tiger Lily. This is going back because I have it already. You saw it in my video and I think I mentioned it there, my Sephora collection video. My eyes just gravitated towards it and I was like, I need to have that. Yeah, you do. And you already have it. So we didn't need to buy it again. So those two for sure, I'm exchanging them. <laughs> I'm going to be clear about that. I'm going to find something else to buy because I already committed to spending the money. So I'm going to spend it. We got another little bag. Did I buy these in store? I did. So I picked up two. Yes, only two. Good job, Barbara two pairs of the swanky lashes. Y'all saw how excited I was to get those lashes on and I absolutely loved how they looked. And now that I have a liner that I know works well with them, I went and got two more pairs. These are spiky, but they're still wispy and I just feel like they were enough dr drama and flair to really amp up my eye look, but they don't feel overpowering because the band is not crazy thick and it's not too much lash. So I just picked up backups of these. I also got my birthday gift, finally able to go into the store and get it. And I picked the Pharmacy Beauty Insider. It's a skincare set and it has their Green Clean, which is a balm. Yes, Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. Then it has the Honey Halo which is a moisturizer, and then the Honey Potion Plus, which is a mask. So I've heard a lot of people talk about how much they love pharmacy skincare, and I don't think I've tried anything. I'm pretty sure I haven't. So I felt like this was a good intro to try some of their stuff, and then maybe next sale, I can pick some stuff up. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I'm going to do a declutter of my skincare stuff because I went through this phase where I was all into skincare. So every time I saw something on sale, I bought it. And now I have so much stuff that is probably expired, lots of sunscreens that have expired, and I just need to clean out my drawer. So I'm going to do that before I buy any more skincare. Be ready for that. This was an impulse buy. This is why I didn't want to go to the store. So let me tell y'all, I went to the store and I looked at the stuff I had in my cart before I went to the store. I couldn't make up my mind. I went to the store and then I took a bunch of stuff out of my cart because I was like, I looked at it. I'm not as excited about it. I don't need it. But so then how you go to the store and buy stuff that wasn't in your cart because now all of a sudden you're excited. What sense does that make? I'm about to spray this right now because I want to smell it again. This is the Kayali... Yum Pistachio Gelato number 33. This is my first Kayali perfume, any kind of fragrance from the brand. I've never liked any of the other ones that much. Why do I smell this through the box? If that means my stuff spilled, I'm going to be mad. It says that this has hazelnut, sweet rum, whipped cream, marshmallow, and cotton candy. 
It don't look like it's spilled. But this smells strong. I smelled it in the store and I was like, oh my goodness. I think I actually like how that smells. And I was like, I did not want to like that because I don't want to spend any money on fragrance. I said I wasn't doing it, even though I did. And so the guy in the store was like, oh, but it smells so good. You should get it. And he was like, well, let me go see, go look and see if they have one of the travel size ones. And I looked and they didn't. So I was like, see, I guess I'm not supposed to have it, even though I had added it to my cart in the store. And then he goes, well, let me go see. And then he found one in the drawer. So got this one instead of the big one, which is probably a good idea for me. Man, this smells so good. I'm trying not to buy the big one, but this does not smell like anything I have. And I love it. I'm getting it. Man, this smells so good. I've heard people say soap. I don't smell soap. I don't know what I smell, but I don't smell soap and this smells good. So I'm probably going to get the big one. I'm going to just tell you all that right now. This is something else I also picked up in the store. This is the Sephora Destinations palette. I didn't tell you all which one this was in my video. I just realized that this is Southern Charm. So you saw this in my Sephora collection, Full Face of Sephora video. But I'll go ahead and show you again real quick. My makeup look got so dark so fast and that video was not planning for it, but this was a very pleasant surprise. And this shade actually, I feel like it's showing better than it did whenever I filmed. I filmed early and it was too bright. This is a duochrome, so you can see the shift there. I just think it was so pretty and it just made my eyes pop. So I'm happy to have this in my collection. Now let's see if they keep it around. Last thing in this bag, this is the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Tinted Lip Oil. I picked this up in the shade Joy. It was weird because this was the only shade left in the store and I swatched it and I was like, I kind of like this. It is not a typical shade that I have, which is another reason why I picked it up. It kind of looks, it's a coral, like almost like an orange. And so I saw some people talking about them and they were like, these aren't that great because they're not a lip oil. I don't care. I like the shade. It's a lip tint that goes on like an oil and then wears off to a tint. So it's more color that stays than people expected. But this shade is so different that I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to be mad at it. That legit looks orange. So it is definitely a bright coral shade. And I just felt like this is different from what I have. I just probably not. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Y'all know I like to put stuff on in the video and just be like, yeah, let's do that. But I'm going to leave it on my hand and see how much it stains. But I'm definitely keeping this. And I'm glad I picked up a shade that I don't already have because it'll be really cute for the summer, spring, summer. Yeah, I hope y'all can see the color. There you go. So it's kind of like an orangey coral. I think it's cute and hopefully I like the formula. So now we're jumping into the box. This was the very first order that I placed and it was a kind of big one. I think it was like 450 bucks. Y'all, I don't want to hear it. I spend money on these sales. <laughs> we're not talking about it. Y'all have seen some of my previous hauls. So this one is actually kind of tame compared to some of the damage I've done before. I did pick up this perfume set. I love picking these up because these are bigger than the normal. You usually get like the little, I don't have one. I do have one somewhere. Here it is. So normally this is Ellis Brooklyn Myth. I picked this up as one of my samples. But so normally you get these little sizes, which I love putting in my travel bag. And those are around $60, $65, I think, for the kit. And then you get to redeem it for a full size. These are the deluxe samples. And then you get to redeem for the full size. So these are in my bathroom. If they are easy to apply, then I will travel with them. But this one has the Clean Reserve Skin, which I smelled in store. And it doesn't really smell like anything to me. I'm not buying that. That's the most expensive one in here, but it's also the biggest size that you get. But it's literally like I took a bath and I'm clean and that's what I smell like. I could take a bath and smell clean. I don't need a perfume for that. So I'm not getting that. 
Gucci, Flora, Gorgeous, Gardenia. Definitely not because I don't like Gardenia. Marc Jacobs Daisy, I actually like that. I didn't think I did. And then I realized I kept grabbing it upstairs in my bathroom. So maybe. Ness New York has a Balinese coconut perfume oil. No idea what that smells like. Fleur Missing Person. I want to smell that because I have not smelled anything from that brand. Which one is that? I guess it's this one right here. Um, I haven't smelled anything from that brand, and so I'm very interested in trying that one. Versace Dylan Purple. I smelled it, and I like it. I like Dylan Blue. I like Dylan Turquoise, and I love the color purple. So that was one of the main reasons I wanted to try this one. And then they also give you a candle that you can't redeem for, but this little tin, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'll burn it one day. Speaking of candles... Forever Mood Candles by Jackie Ina were on sale, some of them, and I read all the notes, kept going back and forth. I decided to go with Thirst Trapping. I was happy one of the stores I went to actually had more of them in store to smell, and I don't know what it is. I don't like most of them. I There's a few that I found. Um, Sip Happens, I like. And then one of the ones that I got in my recent haul from, it wasn't QVC, but kind of something like that. One of them I liked in there. Um, but for the most part, I don't know. It's just some, a lot of them are really sweet. And I don't normally gravitate towards sweet candles. But this one said the top notes were watermelon, which I love, apple and pineapple. And then the heart is raspberry and apricot. And then the base is cotton candy and vanilla. So sweet, sweet, sweet. I started to get Spice of Life, but I just, I was worried I wasn't going to like it, but I like this one. It is sweet, but I'm okay with it. It's kind of giving me a little bit of watermelon lemonade from Bath and Body Works, which is one of my favorites. I have several of those. So yeah, this was definitely a good pick and it's going to be good for the spring and summer. Up next... I splurged. Oh no. Did I mean to get this? We'll see. This is the K18 Detox Shampoo. I'm not sure I meant to grab this. Maybe I did. <laughs> I know I wanted to grab the K18 Leave-In Treatment. And I don't know. I know those are sold together in a small kit I bought during the last sale. So I went ahead and thought I bought... I did not. I just bought this. I don't know if I meant to do this. I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not. Because I don't think. I, this was during my 12 o'clock midnight. <laughs> I don't know. I was still asleep. I'm going to blame it on that. This next product I talked about. And I said I was going to get this. This is the Briogeo Thick and Full Hair Care System. This was pretty expensive. But I felt like you got a lot in it. This comes with their Destined for Density Mega Strength Caffeine and Biotin Peptide Density Serum. It also comes with their hair supplements, which is Vegan Omega 3, 6, and 9 plus Biotin Soft Gels. And I think, okay, so this is a 60-day supply, so that's really good. And then you get their shampoo and conditioner. So I feel like this set was worth it. The brand is expensive. But I feel like their products work really well. I have their mask I've tried before. I have their Don't Despair Repair Oil. And I think that might be it. I might have tried the shampoo conditioner in like a travel set and one of their leave-in conditioning masks or something. So I've tried a few things from the brand. So I felt like I just wanted to try this kit and this was the best time to get it. I went in store and I picked up a small size of this to try it. I used it, I loved it, and immediately put the big one in my cart. <laughs> this is the Chris Appleton in Color Wow Money Mask for super glossy, expensive, luxur expensive looking hair. This made my hair so soft. It made it free. Like, I don't know why lately my hair, I will blow dry it, I will curl it, and then for whatever reason in the gym, it frizzes. And I never used to have that problem. But I feel like this really helped to stop the frizz from being so bad. 
It says it's a deep hydrating treatment, rich in Mediterranean plant-based proteins, antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals to help deliver super glossy, supple, expensive looking hair. I really like how this hair, how this made my hair look. And there's not a lot of products that I use that right off the bat for the very first time using it, I feel like I get great results like that. So this was kind of a no brainer for me. And I don't know how I'm gonna rotate these products, but this is a mask that I will be using a lot. I picked up a big old pair of lashes. <laughs> I picked these up though because they're magnetic. This is the Lily Lashes Faux Click Magnetic Lashes in the style Miami. These are big. I don't know if this is what the normal Miami lashes look like. I don't think I have those. I might, I probably do. Um, but I wanted to try these because they're magnetic. I have on a magnetic pair right now and they are by the brand Velour and I like them. I like magnetic lashes because they're a lot easier to take off and I don't have to worry about pulling my lashes out. So I don't know. Ooh, these are big. I don't know what, if there's like a specific magnetic liner I'm supposed to use, but I think I bought one. Let me see, yes I did. Is it Lily? Yes it is. Oh, perfect, this goes with this. <laughs> see, I'm telling y'all that sleepy shopping. It's not too, too crazy. Lily Lashes Click Magnetic Felt Tip Eyeliner. So, I think this was in the sale items too, so it was sale on sale. But yeah, you use this and you draw the line, like the Velour one, on your lash line, wait for it to dry and then put the lashes on. So it says it's a two-in-one eyeliner and magnetic lash bond. I didn't realize these two went together, but fate. This I'm excited about. And this I bought because I went into the store and I tried it and I liked it. This is the One Size Lip Snatcher Velvet Flex Cream and Cushion Gloss Lip Duo. These names are so long. I picked mine up in the shade Mother Star. She is a nude. I should have waited to touch up my lip because I swatched this in the store and thought it was so pretty. I love this packaging. This is the lip color on this side and then the gloss on this side. Man, I wish I wouldn't have did my lips already. Let me go ahead and swatch it for you. I love the color. Where are we putting her? Gotta do this side. Okay, I need to take some of this stuff off. So this is the lip, which I think is a very, very pretty shade. Like I said, it's a nude. And it's not too pink. I love that. That is why I wanted to get this. I hope y'all can see that. I feel like my lights, there we go. So kind of a peachy beige shade. And then let me show you the liner. The liner the liner the lip gloss is a pink but it oh she's thick has gold flecks in it oh yeah those are going to be so pretty together so that's the gloss up there super super pretty but this was the only shade that i really liked so i'm glad it was a nude because it's something i can wear regularly i just don't know what the formula is like so i'm excited to try it I decided to pick up the Slather Topicals Exfoliating Body Serum for Textured Skin. I have talked about before how I feel like I have, my, the back of my legs have KP and sometimes I'll get little bumps back here on the back of my arms. I'm doing pretty good right now, but sometimes, especially the back of my legs, I used to hate wearing shorts because of that and now I'm just like, whatever, but I'm still trying to treat it. I heard a lot of people talking about how great this brand was for dark spots and texture. So I decided this was the best time to pick it up. It has retinol, lactic acid, urea, and squalene in it. So it says it moisturizes, exfoliates, and smooths. And it says use two to three times a week or more often as tolerated. So I guess because of the retinol, it might be a little irritating at first, but being that I'm using it on my legs, it shouldn't be that bad. This is the lipstick I was telling y'all about that I have on. This is the Huda Beauty Bossy Browns Power Bullet Cream Glow. This is a cream lipstick. There is another shade that I want. I think it's called Money Maker. Um, that is currently out of stock and it was out of stock in the store. So hopefully that comes back in stock. I opened this and I looked at it and I was mad at myself because I was like, why did you get this? First of all, I love the packaging. I will say that. 
This is the kind of packaging that makes you want to collect every shade just because it would look so good on your vanity. We're not doing that, but I'm just saying. But this is the shade right here. And so when I looked at it and I swatched it, I was like, why did I get that? Like, really? But then I put it on and I was like, oh, that's why I got it. It is a brown, but I just feel like this is almost like, it's a little darker than my lips, but because it's not matte and it has that satin kind of shine to it, I felt like I could maybe pull off wearing this with not a lot of makeup and it wouldn't look too crazy. So I still want that other shade because that other shade was perfect, but I ended up picking up this one. I don't know if it was just the formula that got me or the shade that got me or what, but I wanted one in that moment. I just pulled these out real quick. I always grab samples when I can because they only let you do two. I'm gonna say right now, whatever this little thing is, Leela Lou Eau de Parfum, I don't like this. And I picked up three of them because I always try to pick up the little small fragrances to put in my travel bag. When I first put it on, I did not like it. Right now, it's not that bad. <laughs> I actually kind of like this. It's soft, it's paired jasmine and fresh cut grass. Who wants to smell like fresh cut grass? Apparently I do. And I just put gloss on my nose, I did. Okay, hold on, because I need to take this off my hand. And then I got two of the Jo Malone English Pear and Freesias. Another little sample I got, this is Taka, Toka, Florence. I've never had anything from this brand. This one says Italian Bergamot, Violet Petals with Gardenia and Blonde Woods. I want to smell this now. God, that Kaoli smells so good. Where can I put this? This isn't going to interfere with the Kaoli. I'm going to put just a tiny, tiny bit. Because I've never smelled any of these and I saw a lot of them were on sale. Mm -mm, I don't like it. Okay. <laughs> that is too much gardenia for me. Okay, I'm trying to take this off the back of my hand. Patrick Starr's lip is not coming off easy and neither is the Rare Beauty. So those will definitely be some long wearing products. But we're just going to leave them for right now. The back of my hand is stained from the Rare Beauty. So that is not a joke. It is a stain. Moving on, I picked up... Okay, here we go. I thought I was crazy, but I'm not. I am, but I'm not. This is the K18 Leave-In Molecular Repair Hair Mask. So I bought the small size last sale. I bought the full kit this sale. That makes me feel a lot better. I also picked up the one size Secure the Sweat Dry Till Dawn Primer. I picked a sample up of this in store and I liked it. I did my makeup with it, I liked it. So I decided to pick this up. I wanna use this for the summer. Summer here gets crazy. I am in the South. And I also thought this would be a great meat day primer because it says it's sweat proof, waterproof, and shine proof. And then 12 hours, it is oil resistant, shine control, and mattifying power. So perfect for a day of lifting. Another Sephora collection product that I picked up, this is their False Eyelash Fuser. I just recently got a lash curler and I used to always just use my lash applicator and pinch my lashes together. So real talk, I probably didn't need this, but I just wanted to see what it was about. So just curious to see how this would work on my lashes when I apply false lashes. Getting to the end, I also picked up the K18, oh, Biomimetic. I think I said that wrong earlier. Biomimetic, that's what it is. I picked up their hair oil. I just went with the full set. I love hair oils. This is supposed to be good for fighting frizz and then also heat protection. Okay, that's what it was, yeah. And it actually says it's supposed to work long-term to fight frizz, so that's a good thing. This is supposed to be something that's supposed to be able to repair previous damage, which I didn't think was something that you could do. Like once your hair is damaged, you just have to cut that off, let it grow out, whatever. You can't undo it. But supposedly this stuff does. So we're going to see how well that works. 
This was another thing I was excited to pick up and was hoping that it didn't sell out. This is the Glow Recipe Strawberry BHA Pore Smooth Blur Drops. I went in before the sale, got a sample of these. I tried this one with the Makeup by Mario foundation and my face looked amazing. I'm still talking myself out of getting the Makeup by Mario foundation because I have so many foundations already and I know that foundation is not going anywhere. So I don't need it right now. But at the same time, wearing those two together and having such a great makeup day makes me want to get it right now. I'm not going to, I don't think. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to, but I had to have this primer. I also picked up the Fenty Skin Flash Snap Instant Revival Eye Gel Cream. This was on sale, so sale on sale. Why I picked it up, because even with Fenty's 30% off friends and family, this was still cheaper with the 20% off and the sale already. This says use day and night under your eyes, but it's supposed to be, it says a power shot of renewal hydrates and soothes on contact and reduces the look of puffiness over time. I don't want over time. I thought you meant it was going to happen right in that moment. Like kind of tighten it up a little bit. I like using stuff like this when I'm filming and if I wake up and feel like my eyes are a little puffy but this says over time don't say it's a flash nap like it's gonna happen quick then you threw me off with that i'ma keep it can't have enough eye creams but that kind of throws me off another sephora collection product i picked up this reusable sponge case i have a case in my travel bag that came with a wet and wild sponge i think and that thing has been through it and it just had it so i decided to pick this up to replace that I like putting this in my travel bag with my sponge so the sponge doesn't mess up the inside of my bag but also it helps to give your sponge somewhere to dry and it's ventilated so not just sitting in liquid after you wet it and next thing you know it's moldy and gross and you don't want to put that on your face so felt like this was a good investment to keep my skin from breaking out and then last but not least, another hair product. This is the NuCo. I picked up their kit. So this is their super thick topical scalp supplement for thick and healthy hair. It says for hair that is thinning or regularly shed, super thick is a treatment designed to stimulate the scalp, aiding circulation and protecting the follicles. I love the sound of all of that. So this also comes with vitamins, yes. 90 capsules it says you have to take three so this is only a 30-day supply but it says that this is a full spectrum daily hair support delivering essential minerals micronutrients and vitamins for healthy strong hair alongside adaptogens and extracts clinically proven to increase hair growth increase hair growth and density yeah 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 good make my hair thicker again make it grow again that's all i need to know all right, that is it for the first of my haul videos. This was a big one because like I said, I placed a pretty big order in the beginning. Um, I do still have some stuff in my cart. I'm returning some stuff, exchanging some stuff, not returning. And yeah, I don't know how much more shopping I'm gonna do, but you guys will find out when I come back here with another haul. So comment below, let me know if you shopped the sale, what you picked up, is there anything you're curious about? Do you want to see me review? I love hearing from you guys. That is it for this video. Thanks for sticking with me to the end. If you're new, I hope you decided to join the family by hitting that subscribe button. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.